Hello everyone, I am Douglas E. Welch and this is a container garden update from A Gardener's Notebook. For more information you can always visit the website DouglasEWelch.com. There you'll find links to A Gardener's Notebook as well as everything else that I do. Well, we're out here uh, on the punting bench today uh, basically doing a little cleanup. Uh, we're going to be going on a short vacation back to our home state of Ohio in just a day and we're going to have someone watching the garden and so I wanted to neaten up the potting bench as much as I could give her as little to take care of while we're gone as possible and uh, as it so happens we actually have a lot we can clean up now first of all I don't know if you can see that at all if you look right here on our little epiphyllum we're starting to see some growth popping up on the epiphyllum uh, that's good to see that means these have now probably set in and become uh, ready to grow on themselves so that'll be really nice all she'll have to do is water that a little bit as we go on um, I've had some failures in my uh, cuttings. Um, these lantana layerings, these are where lantana was uh, throwing off roots where it had touched the soil. Um, these started off well, actually started to see some growth and actually, you know what? Huh, I'm actually gonna put this one back in. Notice here on the bottom, see these roots? starting. You can't see any growth at all on top, but these are actually still throwing off some roots are so I'm actually going to put him back in. I'm going to check the other ones to see if they are showing any growth too. Um, if they are, well, that's great. We'll leave them in there. But I didn't. I didn't think they were doing anything. Frankly, they looked pretty sad. They had thrown off some growth initially, but uh, then I had seen that growth die back and nothing else had occurred. So let's see here. Let's take this and just pat this one out a little more gently in my hand and see what's going on here. Um, no, now see that one's completely dead. You see the roots perhaps that were on there but they didn't take. So, okay, so that one we're good to put him off in the compost pile. And let's get the best, so let's take the next one and let's see about him. There's plenty moist in there. Uh, where's the stem? Yeah, I'm guessing they just didn't have enough roots to get started. So, that's two pots down. Let's take the third. I had a bunch of these when I did the pruning in Lantana, and so there was quite a few to try. Um, Yep, okay, so that's another one down. So I was right. In most cases, these weren't really doing much. Um, but uh, in that one case, it actually was throwing off some roots. So, very interesting. And another duck. Okay, so we just have the one we'll put back on the bench. We'll water him in again. Add some more soil on top here from these other pots. And we'll set him aside and get him back going. Uh, what else do we have sent? Well, now, unfortunately, the center geraniums I have made cuttings of, they didn't take it all. I just pulled all of them out over on the bench and all those things. Did. Again, they had started to throw off uh, growth, but then nothing occurred. Now, what I'm finding is, though, and this is what I'm going to do with these next time when I do them another start, is here you'll see two of the four pots of uh, regular geraniums, my pink geranium up front, and in this case, it's a tough to get off because it's the way the bag is formed. This is the lavender cuttings I took a couple weeks ago. Frankly, they're doing great. They're doing fine. Um, and it's all about the covering. It's all about having the little greenhouse on top here. Um, that really seems to make the difference. The geraniums here are actually starting to even throw off new growth. So they're getting some good roots established in there and I'll have some more of that. So when we come back from our trip, I'm probably gonna do a whole another, <laughs> to use an Ohioism, a whole uh, another set of these uh, with the little bags on top or cloches or whatever I can find and we'll start again with these and see what we can go. Most especially we're going to do the rosemary that way um, because the rosemary cuttings really didn't take off at all that I tried a few weeks ago, a few months ago now. Uh, I often have to look back at the video and figure out what I did when and uh, I believe that's been a couple months ago. So these pots will reuse as well. Now, the good news, the good news, good news, good news, is my attempts to root cuttings in water actually seem to be showing some, um, some success. I happened to notice the other day, I was wondering about this lantana. This is again, an, just another cutting from the lantana rather than a layering like the other ones were. And boy, he had sat in this water for weeks he had never gone brown, uh, so I knew it was doing okay. And just a couple days ago, I noticed that he, it actually developed. I'm trying to think if I put it up against the black pot here. You can probably see he actually developed some very 
very nice roots on the bottom of his thing now. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to reuse one of these larger pots. Let's say, let's say this one here. And we're going to dibble in a little hole here. This one's going to have to go fairly deep because the roots are way down on the end. In fact, I think I'm actually going to have to dump a little bit of soil out. Do that. Yeah, that should be about right. We'll get, make sure his roots are nice and protected in there. And since he is so tall, we do want to make sure we get some nice soil all around to support him. Uh, I did make a little bit of a mistake when I did these cuttings. Obviously, I should have made them a little shorter, but in this case, he actually took well and put off some good roots, so we'll let him go. Um, and again, this will just get water while we're gone, and by the time we get back, it should be even stronger. Now, the great thing is I don't have to cover him because his roots are already established, and he should be able to pull up any moisture that he needs from the pot here and keep going until we return. Um, again, success like this shows me I'm going to go out I'm going to go, I have a yellow lantana as well as some more purple like this one. I'm actually going to do some more cuttings. I may root them in water this time, or I may try and root them like this uh, under bags. But it is possible to make it work, and so we'll definitely try it again. And finally, uh, I did notice, again, after weeks and weeks and weeks, I thought these guys were not going to show anything at all. But I have one rosemary cutting here. Probably the first one I put on is showing some root growth as well. Um, the rest of these I'm actually going to stash back in the water and uh, we'll see. He's got a little bit of a root that looks like so we'll put these guys back in water and let them sit for a little while longer. Maybe by the time we're back they will have shown some roots as well. Again, they're not dying, they're still green so they're still doing okay. Um, and then we'll take this little guy here that we do have with some roots on it and we'll go ahead and get him potted up where that root comes off. He kind of came off kind of high on the plant there. So I think I'm actually going to snap off the bottom of that stem because the roots came off actually way up here where the juncture is. And then we're going to make a little hole. And come here. Maybe can't do that either. Okay, knock out some of the soil and redo it. There we go. Knock it out. Put a little bit in the bottom. Put him in. Bam, like that and then fill them back up with soil. Again, since this has established roots now, it should be good to go. Get a little bit of water while we're away, and we might have the beginnings of one of our first, um, redo the sign here to rosemary. And my little popsicle stick here. Um, hopefully by the time we get back, maybe he'll be a little stronger. And we may have the beginnings of one of our first rosemary topiaries, which was the whole reason I started doing these in the first place was to have one stem come up, have a little ball, and do some nice little rosemary topiaries to give away as gifts, to have around the house or whatever. Now we got a couple of experiments going, to, going on in these containers out front here. One is this, which is our uh, parsley has gone to seed. I'm going to let it go to seed. I'm either going to let it see if it'll reseed back into this pot on its own, or I may gather up the seed and then uh, help it along by seeding it myself and growing some seedlings up. There's still plenty of uh, parsley along the base of the pot to use, so that's no problem at all. And I figured it'd be interesting to try. Now I did notice, um, perhaps because it's getting more water or was in a better position or whatever, but some of the oregano I planted in this pot finally came up uh, here in left corner. It's actually going pretty well though. Uh, we'll have uh, come in and take some cuttings of that when it gets a little bigger and uh, dry those off and start using those in the kitchen. Now our butter crunch lettuce is also going to seed here and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the parsley. I'm going to let it go to seed and see what we get. It would be very interesting if we could get it to reseed back in this pot um, and if not I'll take some of the seed and we'll plant it up on the potting bunch and see if we can get some lettuce starts that we can put back in the pot when they're a little bit larger. And I don't show off this pot very much. This is our succulent container we have on the front porch and uh, tis the season I guess you'll see that it's throwing off a beautiful little orange flower there on the left. Um, this particular type of cactus, which I have no idea what it is, uh, does tend to flower quite regularly during this time of year. It's always a pleasure to see it kind of pop up and give us a little show when we least expect it. So that's it for this episode of Container Garden Update for our Gardener's Notebook. Again, for more information, visit the website douglasewelch.com. Uh, we'll be in Ohio, northern Ohio, for the next week and a half. 
and I hope to spot some interesting gardens there, some interesting ways of using containers that my friends and family back in the state have used in their own gardens. Until next time, keep potting stuff up, keep cool if you're like here in Los Angeles, and keep digging.